In this example, we will determine probabilities of sample means using Desmos.com. An unknown distribution has a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 12. Samples of size n equals 40 are drawn randomly from the population. We're asked to find the probability that the sample mean is between 97 and 103, the probability the sample mean is greater than 99, and the probability the sample mean is less than 97. We know from the central limit theorem that the distribution of the means, or the sample distribution, indicated by x bar, tends to a normal distribution where the mean of the sample distribution is equal to the mean of the original distribution, which in this case is 100, and the standard deviation of the sample distribution is equal to sigma sub x divided by the square root of n, which is the standard deviation of the original distribution, which is 12, divided by the square root of n, where n is a sample size of 40. So for the distribution of x bar, or the distribution of the means, the mean is equal to 100, and the standard deviation of the sample distribution is 12 divided by the square root of 40. Now 12 divided by the square root of 40 does simplify, but there's no need to. We can indicate the probability the sample mean is between 97 and 103 as the probability that x bar is greater than 97 and less than 103. For the probability the sample mean is greater than 99, we have the probability that x bar is greater than 99. And for the probability the sample mean is less than 97, we have the probability that x bar is less than 97. And now let's go to Desmos.com and graph the sample distribution for the distribution of the means. We go to Desmos.com, click Graphing Calculator, open the Desmos keypad by clicking the Show Keypad button in the lower left hand corner, click Functions, click the Distributions tab, click Normal Distribution, and now we enter the mean and standard deviation of the sample distribution so the mean is 100, comma, the standard deviation of the sample distribution, or the standard deviation of the sample means, is equal to 12 divided by the square root of 40. Now let's go ahead and close the Desmos keypad, and now we click the Zoom Fit button, which is the magnifying glass here on the far left, and now we have a nice graph of the distribution of the means. Next, we will click the Find Cumulative Probability. Notice right now, all of the area under the curve is shaded, and the area is equal to 1. For the first probability, we want the probability x bar is greater than 97 and less than 103. We enter 97 for the minimum. Enter 103 for the maximum. Enter. Close the keypad. The area under the curve represents the probability we are looking for, which to four decimal places is approximately 0 0.8862, which is equal to 88.62%. And now let's find the probability x bar is greater than 99. So 99 will be the minimum. The maximum will be infinity. The easiest way to get infinity is just to clear the 103 and then click out of the cell and the infinity will appear. And notice how the area under the curve is shaded to the right of 99. The probability that x bar is greater than 99 is approximately 0 0.7009, which is equal to 70.09%. And then we have the probability that x bar is less than 97. So now 97 is the maximum. The minimum will be negative infinity. Again, the easiest way to get negative infinity is just to clear the 99 and then click outside the cell. And notice how negative infinity appears. If we close the Desmos keypad, notice the area to the left of 97 is shaded and the probability is approximately 0.0569, which is equal to 5.69%.
So the nice thing about using Desmos is that we actually see the area under the curve that represents the given probability. And for the last part, we're asked to find the value that is two standard deviations below the expected value of 100 of the sample mean. We're told to round to the tenths place value. X bar, the mean that is two standard deviations below the expected value of 100, is equal to the mean of 100 plus the z-score. Because the value is two standard deviations below the mean, the z-score is negative two times sigma sub x divided by the square root of n is equal to sigma sub x bar, the standard deviation of x bar, which we've already found earlier as 12 divided by the square root of 40. And now let's get our decimal approximation for this sample mean. which is approximately 96.2. So 96.2 is two standard deviations below the expected value of 100 of the sample mean. I hope you found this helpful.